welcome back to Children's Music and Cochlear Implants. We're at Wine Garden Children's Center. My name is Karen. And my name is Erin. The song this week is I'm a Little Teapot, and we're going to sing it once slowly for you, for anyone who's learning it or who might need a refresher. So here we go. All right. I'm, I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, and here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Just tip me over and pour me out. Shh. I like catching the tea. Shh. And having the children listen to it. Mmm. <laughs> Our tip this week is going to be working on feeling the beat and helping your child feel the beat by singing I'm a Little Teapot. So the beat is the rhythm of the song, kind of the big pulse of the song. And... You can do this in a couple ways. You can move your body. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. You could clap, so you could do it with a smaller body part. I'm a little teapot. You could pat your lap. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. So there's a lot of different ways you could do this. And one of the great benefits of starting this early is research has actually shown links to children who have a strong sense of rhythm and later reading fluency skills. So it's never too young to begin oh. exposing your child. And actually finding that big beat of the song is a musical milestone for hearing children as well as children with hearing loss. So if you have a really little one and you want to start working on this, show us how I'll show work. you. You That'd can take your little one and kind of sit them like this. And if you're singing with them, you could rock with them, but you could also help them feel it by patting on them. So they're really getting a physical sensation of that beat. So I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Or you could pat them, whatever you think. So helping them to get a sense of rhythm by doing that through the whole song and letting them feel the beat. So try it this week. Play with it. Watch your child and how they try to copy you. And uh, yeah. And the beat goes on. <laughs> now it's time for the twist. Now we've been talking about piggybacking with the songs and the tunes that you know. So this is a real easy one to use once you get used to singing it. You could change it to a uh, witch, I'm a little witch, mm -hmm. I'm a little turkey. But today we thought we should give you one that you can use for the upcoming season of winter. Mm -hmm. And the song is I'm a little snowman. Right? Yeah. It'd yeah. be perfect when you're... On that cold day, you're having a cup of tea, That's it reminded right. you, I should sing I'm a little teapot. And then yeah. you're thinking, oh, or I'm a little snowman. Now, <laughs> typically, I stand up to sing this song, but because of our wonderful studio here, <laughs> we'll be sitting down. It goes like this. I'm a little snowman, round and fat. Here is my nose, and here is my hat. Here are my two arms, and here's my belt. Here's the sun. Now watch me melt. Hooray! And the kids love to melt when we do yes, this one do. at school. And belt is a vocabulary word that's on a lot of tests, and a lot of our students don't know, so it's a great way to work on the word belt. So that's your twist for the week. All right. It's time for our review. And the tip this week is? The tip this week is to work on feeling the beat in your body and helping your child feel the beat or just modeling that action for them. And the twist is? The twist is singing I'm a Little Snowman to the very same tune of I'm a Little Teapot. Give it a try. And if you come up with some new words, please let us know. Yes, yeah, share them in the comments. We encourage you to piggyback with all these tunes, especially for your child's thematic learning. Yes, so please, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next week. Bye.